going to attempt a day in the life today. I got up super early. We had a rough night. Mikey's been sick-ish, but he was up coughing a bunch. So, um, yeah, I jumped up this morning to go to Jenny's today. She had a garage sale this morning. What is it, the 12th, 11th? It's Thursday. Um, so she had a garage sale this morning. And I, I'm normally really early and I'm, I've never had a problem before, but she did say something this morning. So I apologize. It was about 10 minutes early, but I try to get up and get out of the house before the kids wake up because then it's hard for me to get out, you know? So I apologize profusely and promised to be on time next time and not early. Um, but I picked up a Lego Batman clock one of those digital ones and hang on I'm coming to see if this office is open yet I think they open at 8 30 let me see yeah I don't think they're open I'll have to come back Aaron's oh there's somebody in there um so yeah I picked up this Lego Batman clock and spent three bucks on it and then I looked on eBay and they're selling Right now, I saw a few sold for 17 in that range, 17, 20 bucks. One was like 30 with free shipping. Um, let me grab it and I'll show you. Um, but I think what I'm gonna do is wait because the Lego Batman movie comes out next month. And I'm hoping that that will help a spike, you know, a spike in the price. So this is it right here, it's working. So I paid $3, good deal. <clears throat> um, so yeah. So he, of course my sons would love it, but my guy's rooms are already like explosion. Explosion! So I'm going to go in here. I have to take care of something real quick and then I'll come back and we'll talk some more. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to start over a little bit. I don't remember how much I talked to you about because that was really weird with the light. So I was, I'm going to have a do-over. Okay, so yeah. My boys were home and I didn't get anything done. Where else was I? So yesterday I finally got some listings in. That was really good. Um, it wasn't as many as I would have liked, but there were some pieces that I had to do a little bit of research on because they were some like Art Deco, Rosedale, or you know cer some ceramics that can go for nice money. And I actually got an offer this morning on one of the pieces I listed yesterday, I didn't accept it. I counter offered because I'm just like, okay, if you're already one, I couldn't find the piece exact, the exact same piece um, out there. So I listed it, I think for $75. Um, and then I got an offer today for $20. But I have a 25% off sale going on in my shop. So it's already less than $75. Um, but the fact that somebody messaged me already about it, you know, within less than 24 hours tells me, okay, I'm going to hang on for a minute because I think somebody's going to want it. So I did finally get some listings in. That was good. And then last night I took a bunch of pictures of jewelry while watching a show, a YouTube show. Okay. So another thing I did yesterday, I spent quite a bit of time testing or checking over um, some jewelry I got. So what it was, was this pair of earrings. Okay, so I have a group called Jewelry Lovers and Sellers, and basically it's a group for people like me, who are, you know, who love jewelry, who might need help with, with identifying things every now and then, stones or, late, you know, like stamps, labels, and, you know things like that identifying marks and or styles like how should I list this it's not a selling group at all um, so anyway a girl in our group showed shared a pair of earrings that she was trying to find out more about there were no marks on it and they, they're really pretty and since we have a really strict like no selling um, rule in our group I I wanted these earrings because they were so pretty so I didn't want to you know message her right then so I or on the page so I messaged her privately and said look 
I really like those earrings. You know, if you know, let me know when you list them because I'm interested in, in buying them. <clears throat> so she even, you know, they they looked so nice. She even took them to a jeweler to have them looked over to find out, like, you know, are they costume jewelry or what? Well, the jeweler did not test them and just said these are these are costume jewelry, you know, and probably because there are no marks on them or anything like that. So. When I get them, I'm like, man, these are really, really nice, you know? So I start looking them over. I get my magnet out, uh, and they're not magnetic, which does not mean necessarily that they're gold. It just means, like, take, you know, a closer look at them. So I, after that, after they're not magnetic, I get out my loop, and I start looking them over, and what I'm, one, I'm looking for a mark. I don't see a mark, but I see like a lot of dirt. There's like a lot of black dirt. Um, and so I start cleaning some of that off because then maybe the mark is under the dirt, you know. And so I'm cleaning that off and there's not any, how do I put it? Like if, if they were like gold plated or, you know, coated with something, you would see some like chipping in the coatings, um, you know, especially around like where there's moving parts because there's like a, a, a jump ring in there where it's not exactly jumping but the, where the pieces rub together you know you you will see signs of wear in in those spots and I'm looking I'm like I don't see any like signs of wear around that that stuff because if it's gold it's not gonna wear off and then so there's like a teensy little pearls in there and so like looking at that and through the loop I can see you know that it's not like uniform and I can see variations in color and so I'm like okay there's these three little green stones I'll have to show you and and then when I'm looking at those they don't just look like flat green they're kind of like there's a little sparkle to them there's a little which could be manufactured but I'm like okay there's enough there for me to decide I am gonna take out my gold testing kit now I think since, I can't think of the exact date, 1905 or something, in the United States, you know, jewelry has to be marked. There's no mark. But perhaps, you know, it was made somewhere else. <clears throat> so, I decide, you know, one, I, you know, I test them. When I test them, they test positive for 14 karat gold. So... At this point, I have a major dilemma <laughs> because I bought these earrings, you know, from her for like 30, 35 bucks. And, you know, she's in my group. I think they might be 14 karat gold. Um, so I go ahead and message her and say, look, I, I think these might be actually gold. You know, I know she took them to a jeweler. They didn't test them, but they told her they were costume. I said, I tell you what, I'm not a professional you know, jeweler, I, you know, I do my thing and do my best, but I, you know, I'm pretty sure these are 14 karat gold and I'm going to take them to my jewelry guide. Um, and I'm going to go over there. I'm not, I'm not selling them cause I want them. I love them. Um, but I'm going to take them over there and have him look at them, have him test them as well. And let me know if what I'm seeing is accurate. Um, and then I want, and then I said, and then I want to send you some more money because, because. So, that's kind of what I'm going to do today. That, and then I have a, that cross that I shared in the haul video last week that ended up being 10 karat white gold with some diamonds on it. Uh, I'm going to take that to him as well and see what he makes of that. You know, is the diamond something that, I don't know. Anyway. So I've got a little bit of time before anything opens. So I'm back home, try to get some photographs in. Let's see if I can show you those pieces. Cause I threw them in my purse. I did. Here they are. Okay, so, <clears throat> pardon me. So these are the earrings. If I can get it off the little thing. So here's the earring. I mean, I just fell in love with them. I was like, those are really cute. but. Like, there was some, you know, like, black, it's like, I mean, like, probably hairspray residue of, you know, the lady had them in, and then just fixed her hair, sprayed them down, you know, just whatever. So, I mean, I tried to clean out as much as I could, 
And, but then, and as I'm cleaning it, like, it's not causing any problems. You see there's like a hinge, like, where the two pieces connect. So I'm looking all around there to see if I see any signs of wear, like a coating wearing off or, you know, whatever. So anyway, pretty, pretty nice earrings, which I can't wait to wear, but I'm kind of waiting. This will be really pretty. Um, to find out, like, are they real? Are they, you know, because then, then here's what I want to find out. Because they, they tested out 14 karat gold to me. Um, and so if it was, if it was just something I was going to be selling, then I would just list it at that. And if it turns out to not be, I want to know, like, is there something else that can test positive, but you know, is some other thing. I don't, not that I know of, but this is the thing I'm learning all the time. So, you know, I did the scratch test on, on um, all three, all three parts. Cause like this has three separate parts and there's the the loop or the hook part then there's the top section and then there's the bottom section so I did all three and they all three came out the same um plus like this part where the the hook the the hook goes in the hook goes into the hook where the stem part goes into the there there's no signs of like wear or scratching or you know like wearing off of the if there was a finish or something you know I checked all through there and, and it looks just gold um so yeah i'm gonna ask i mean what i did was i you know scraped all three of those sections and then i take the acid and i first start with 10k and so i do the 10k and it didn't dissolve so okay 10k or better i did 14k 14k stayed there you know i could still see the line under the acid did the 18k acid and then the lines disappeared so that means you know go down to the the one before so 14k but again, I couldn't find any marking. So we'll see what he has to say about it. Um, and then and then I'll be sending her some more money, hopefully, you know. And then this is the cross. So I have these ready to go to take over there. I paid $8 for that at a, at a garage sale. So that will be in a little bit. Maybe I'll head over there. No, no, no. I need to eat something. I haven't had breakfast yet. So let me go in. I'm going to eat. And then I'm going to head over there because it's in League City. There's a good bowl right next to it. All right. I'll talk to you in a minute. Okay. So we are heading now to the Goodwill. I don't know what time the gold guy opens. So it's either, I don't know, I'm guessing around 10. So it's about nine o'clock now. So I'm going to go to this Goodwill that's on the way. And then there's one right beside where he is. So I'm gonna go check those out. And see, like I need stuff, of course. I always say that, like I need more stuff. But you know, you put yourself in the position to find good scores. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna go check it out. And then go over there and I will let you know what all what all he says so I'm guessing he's gonna charge you know usually they're not gonna do it for free they'll charge you know a fee for for looking it over and all of that so I guess I'll find out what his fee is as well anyway so tonight I don't know if I mentioned this earlier or not <laughs> Tonight, I am going to be on Jason T. Smith's channel for Thrifty Business with Jay and Nay. This is a bumpy road. Apologies. Um, and we're going to be talking jewelry. So I need to get a bit of a, you know, an outline kind of of what I want to talk about. I mean, I'll just talk about what I do, I guess. What I look for. So, we'll see. That's the plan. So, when I went home, I actually got a few photographs in. I'm trying to get more pictures taken so I can list on the way to my sister's place. Did I tell you I was going to my sister's? There was a part of the video I cut out because the, the, the sun was like really weird and you couldn't see half my face. So, I cut that and I restarted 
Now I can't remember if I told you I'm going to my sister's. <laughs> but I'll repeat it and I'll find out. So yeah, we're going to my sister's. We're gonna take the kids out half day Friday. Um, and my dad and I and the boys are going up there. She lives, it's about six hours away, about an hour on the other side of San Antonio in Kerrville. And we're gonna go over there. She lives in the country, you know, so not in Kerrville city, city. Um, so it's just a nice, you know, place to go get away from things. And I, I, we haven't been out there in a while. Um, she's got 14 acres. Oh, I gotta go get some rain boots. We don't have rain boots. But she says, bring some rain boots because they've been clearing out trails through their property so we can go tromping around when it's been raining. So we'll have some rain boots to go tromping around. So yeah, I guess we'll have to go do that today. Walmart or somewhere. I don't know. I guess they have them at Walmart. She says she knows there's a place up there that has them that we can go. They don't. Anyway, maybe I'll look one at Goodwill. Um, so that'll be nice. I mean, I don't think, I, I try not to go, want to go thrifting every time I go out there because I don't want her to think that's the only reason I go different places. Um, but we'll see. I mean, we'll see. <laughs> I'd like to go sometime and spend a little more time and check out some of the estate sales because I have a feeling, I mean, it's probably pretty competitive because a lot of people out there, you know, probably go for antiques to go to Round Rock and things like that. Round Rock? Round Top? You know, there's like a big antique thing in Texas. Anyway, but there's it's a huge retirement area. You know, a lot of people go to Kerrville to retire. So, so yeah, we're going to go out there. We'll leave Friday lunchtime, get there about supper time, and then we'll come back on Sunday. No, Monday. So, that'll be nice. Just a nice little getaway, but I know my dad is going to insist on driving because he's one of those guys that's like, it's a, I don't know if it's a control thing or a safety thing or what. Where are you all going? Um, but anyway, I know he'll drive the whole way. Even if I offer to drive, he might let me. We'll see. He gets tired, but usually no. Um, so I can take my laptop and try to get some listings done. I have a, um, we call it the Puck, but it's like a, it's from AT&T Go Phone, but it's not a phone. It's like a portable Wi-Fi unit. We call it the Puck. And then you can um, like do pay as you go and pay for, I don't know, it's like 50 bucks for so many, for so much, I don't even know how they measure it. For so much data whatever and and it does pretty i mean unless you're watching movies or streaming something it it's pretty good you know so if i'm just doing listings and stuff then it'll last it'll last me if the kids want to watch a movie then we're they'll have to wait till we get to aunt elaine's house so yep but her wi-fi is not she's out in the middle of nowhere and so her wi-fi is not amazing <laughs> in part, parts of the house it's okay in other parts of the house it's, uh, not, it's pretty spotty but anyway we're gonna take my mom's van too because her van has one of those like movie things you know that you can put the movies in so the guys watch movies on the way up there we didn't we chose to not get that in this van because I just didn't want to <laughs> I didn't you know I we sometimes we'll put the iPad like on the console so the kids can watch if we're going on a road trip and we didn't and we don't borrow my mom's van. But we didn't want to have that as an option all the time. The kids that think like they could watch all the time. Plus it would be super tempting, you know, when you're having one of those days where you're just like, here guys, just leave me alone. Uh, but yeah, we didn't want to be tempted into that. We know ourselves well. We've actually pulled the plug on video games. They haven't played video games in pretty much two weeks now. Um, I told them they they'll pro they'll probably get a little time tonight. They've had to start earning it because they were getting sassy. I mean, and we're you know 
you got to be respectful, you know, or else you got to, you got to mind your manners, you know, and, and they've been getting kind of sassy and a little bit, um, like entitled acting, like they think things should just be handed to them or when we ask them to help us with something, why, that kind of stuff, like why, what do you mean why, you know, get off your backside, come on. So they didn't play a ton, I mean, maybe like an hour some days, which is still kind of a lot, but... And it was after, you know, it was in the afternoon, like after, because we still do quiet time. They don't sleep, but still, quiet time. Um, so we just said, you know what, that's it. You're, you don't have video games anymore until mommy and daddy say it's cool. And from now on, you have three chores a day. Three chores of my choosing. <laughs> so, it was good. It's been pretty good. And they, you know, the first day they kind of complained about it. And it was like, let's do your laundry. And of course I have to help them, you know, because they can't reach the buttons and they don't know how to put the soap in. So, but they helped and then they folded and put it away. So like big deal, right? Yesterday, one of their chores was, because we have all these outside toys, but then there's a bunch that are just like broken or like bubble wands that are broken and bits are like in the bushes because they throw them around. So yesterday their chore was to pick up all the toys and broken bits out of the yard and bushes to come throw away because I'm like I don't want to do that that's what I tell them like it looks junky but I don't want to have to go pick up all that garbage and all that mess I didn't make you know because that's their thing I didn't make that mess I didn't make that mess I'm like fine I'll make him play that too I didn't make that mess <laughs> you know so maybe that will uh, spur them on to not make such a big mess one so yeah, they, they've been really well behaved lately. So I told them, all right, 15 minutes each. I mean, they play together, but then they take turns choosing what game they wanna play. So 15 minutes, and then we switch to other 15 minutes, but they still have their three chores. They still have to do their homework. They still have all the stuff they have to do. And then James doesn't know it yet. I guess they both are going to have to do it, but they're going to bring books to read. James has been reading aloud to me from Magic Treehouse. We call them the Jack and Annie books. So he's been reading to me from one of the Jack and Annie books, so I want him to bring it. They're, they're interesting. I mean, some of them are like a little mini historical fiction. Some of them are fantasy. Some of them are... But anyway, the one he's reading me now is like, they're on like a wagon trail or something like that. I don't know. Twisters. There's Twisters on Tuesday or whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called. Twisters on, I think that's what it's called. Twisters on Tuesday. But there's a bunch of them, you know, and so yeah. He's reading that to me. And it's, you know, it's okay. But I feign interest. I'm like, what? Oh my gosh, I can't wait to find out what happens later. Or when we're not, when you know, later in the morning, like, I can't wait till you read to me later because I really want to know what's going to happen with such and such or, you know what I mean? Like, just to get him thinking about it outside of when he's reading about it and to see, like, mommy's excited about me reading to her. We've been listening to the Harry Potter books. We're on the Goblet of Fire. Um, so it's nice because we listen to them at night or in the car. It's Tuesday morning. Um, but I think we're going to stop after this one. And then I'll go back to reading to them. Um, there's a lot of speed bumps in this parking lot. So I'll go back to reading to them. <clears throat> and I think, I don't know, I can't decide, like, I want to start reading, I mean, they've seen The Hobbit. I, I want to read them The Hobbit, but I kind of want to wait till Michael is a little bit older. He's six, you know. Not that I think it's scary for him, but it's just, you know, it's a long book. So I want to find another chapter book that we can read aloud. Okay, let's park. Okay, they're open. It's time to open. Okay, so I'm going to go into this Goodwill. And then I'll go to the other good one. And then I'll let you know if I find anything. Smalls, jewelry, rain boots. Okay, I'm all done. 
in the Goodwill. I took a teensy bit of footage just because I found a tiki mug that I think was a one of what Jason calls a Sarah smash and run away. I didn't smash it, but it was a Jekyll and Hyde. I think I'll insert it. Um, but I picked up this hat, and this was actually in the toy section. It's a Batman hat. I liked it because it was purple, so that was different. Batman on the back, and then there on the inside. It's pretty clean, you know, and it's a trademarked one. And so, yeah, it looks pretty good on the inside. Plus, the Lego Batman movie is coming out soon. Paid $2.99 for that. Pretty good. Then I did get some jewelry. They had a jar. I didn't get, well, it wasn't a jar. It was bagged. It was $24.99, but I didn't get it. I looked at it, and I'm like, okay, I could probably make my money back on this just from bits and pieces and things, but there was nothing that stood out as like a wow piece. So if I was really jonesing and I didn't have a bunch at home, I probably would have bought it, but... I didn't. Uh, and then I got this little gold bracelet, $2.99, made in Korea. Um, it's not marked, so I don't know if it's gold. It's probably not, but I, you know, checked it with a magnet. Let me check my other magnet. I have a stronger magnet with me. Um, I, have a, I had a stronger magnet, and I forgot it was in my purse. Um, but it wasn't, from what I could tell, magnetic. Not again, yeah, it is magnetic. Okay, but well, that's okay, because then what I can do is, you know, either put it in a jewelry lot, you know, or whatever. Same thing with this one. This must have been, there were a number of pieces that were like this that were labeled, you know, costume jewelry or trifari something or other. Um, so I, I bought this one as well, because I just thought it was really pretty, you know. So even if it's, you know, again, I tried it, they had a little weak magnet that I checked it with. I forgot I had this one in my purse. But this one, you know, is not magnetic. So I'll look it over again at home. I mean, it says costume jewelry, but that's the thing. You never know. Like, somebody could have labeled it incorrectly. I don't know. The, the latch is uh, magnetic, but the... So, like, this part is magnetic, the clasp, but the rest of it's not. And then... Um, but I think this will sell on its own just because it's really pretty. This piece is super pretty too. It's got this kind of gray green stone in it and it can be worn as a brooch or a pendant. And there were no missing stones because there's other little stones along the edges. And this is a Sarah Coventry, I think. Yeah, that's what I saw. There's a mark in there, it says Sarah Coventry and I paid $3 for that. So I'll have to look and see what I find about this one. But it was, you know, it's a really nice big statement piece that will go well, I think. I mean, I spent $14.03, and surely, you know, that'll pay for everything. The hat, too. The hat will probably... Again, I'll have to look it up, but, um, yeah, we'll see. So we are looking at 9.52 in the a.m. Drinky, drinky. I like this bottle, but the little hole is so slow to get the water out. Oh, well. Whatever. Um, so, yeah, now I'm heading over to the gold man I have to pass you know he's on the way to the other goodwill and so if I get there and he's not open I'll go over to the goodwill that's right there and then there's another charity shop over there I think it's called st. Christopher's um, I've been there twice the first time I only bought that one pattern that matrix pattern I'll never forget I sent it in the Amazon I think I got 60 or 70 bucks for it because it was a matrix costume pattern uncut for men and it was uh, Morpheus and Neo so you could make their outfits um yeah so that that went really well and then the last time I went there I got the I got a bunch of <clears throat> wrapping like gift wrap the flat wrapping paper and I got those buttons which I did a video okay here's the deal I did the Bakelite video. I followed pretty much all the Bakelite rules. Uh, rules. I misspoke at one point and said that it, the Simithic, Simith, Simicone, not Simithicone, Simicone, Simichrome, Simichrome turns orange, but it turns yellow. So that was my bad. I misspoke. But another thing somebody brought to my attention, because she was watching and said that some of the pieces didn't look like Bakelite. <clears throat> and so I didn't do this research because I just didn't know to. But she was like, I think that some of that stuff might be Lucite because apparently <clears throat> Lucite will also smell when you dip it in hot water. 
um, but it will smell different than Bakelite, which I was not aware of. So, um, she says that the Bakelite, you know, will smell more like formaldehyde and Lucite will smell more like camphor or, and I was like, what does camphor smell like? So I was looking that up and it's more like a mothball smell. So now I need to go back. It's like maybe, cause I did keep saying it smelled like my grand, my great grandmother's sewing room or whatever. So like maybe it was a mothball smell I was smelling. So maybe some of those were, I mean, maybe some were Bakelite and some were Lucite or maybe they were all Lucite and I just need to go. Anyway, I just said, I will reevaluate it and I have no problem whatsoever being corrected because for sure I don't want to put out bad information and I don't want to try to pick things up with bad information and yeah so um, the thing is like I've got a I think I'm gonna take one of those buttons off that um, Sharon Pfeiffer sent me because those are big line so I'll you know do the dip test on that and smell it and then smell the other ones and compare so I can uh, re-evaluate it and maybe change the title of that video to oops or okay it's cool <clears throat> but you know that's the thing you you're learning all the time I'm learning all the time so that's the cool thing another cool thing about our you know this job because constantly learning new things constantly you know like you pick up a piece of pottery <coughs> pardon and when you're doing your research you learn a whole bunch of stuff that you didn't know before you know you pick up a piece of jewelry and you see a mark and you learn something about you know this kind of stamp or this particular company and so I just I like that that's you know getting to do the research and learning one, it helps you in the future when you're finding things and when you're out, you can make better educated decisions about what to buy and what to keep an eye out for because sometimes things look like junk <laughs> or like cheap pottery, but it's really something nice, you know. I think this road's going to get a little bumpy. We'll see. So, yeah. All right. probably go to the Goodwill first because it's still my my clock's a bit fast so I know it's not 10 o'clock yet but I'll see as I drive by yep pretty good pretty good pretty good deal and then I'm supposed to go to my mom's today <coughs> pardon me I uh, go to my mom's and she's going to be showing me how to accurately use a quarter inch foot on a machine, a sewing machine, because I will be going to a quilting class and I've done quilts before but I was not, you know, I did not use a quarter inch foot or an eighth of an inch foot. What did I do? I did more than that. Anyway, so is it a quarter inch, eighth of an inch, half an inch, whatever. When I did mine, because the class that I took a while back when I learned to sew, the seams that I made were for clothing, and they're bigger seams for clothing than they are for quilts. So the quilts I've made so far had the wrong width of the seam allowance or whatever. Did I pass it? I must have passed it. I did pass it. Okay. I'm going to come in here to Goodwill, and then I'll go back over to the gold man. And then I will go to my mom's house. Maybe. She has a doctor's appointment this morning. And look, she's driving herself. Woo! She's driving herself. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Burp, burp, burp. Ow. I hit my hand like just right and it, wow, it hurt. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I went to Goodwill. I spent... $24.80 right over here I got some jewelry couldn't find anything else that's okay because I'm really moving more towards jewelry so the first piece was $2.99 and it's a brooch it looks like this I just thought it was really pretty 
I don't see any marks on the back so you know it's just gonna be costume jewelry brooch but I think I don't know it looked really nice so I was willing to take a chance uh, my guess is that I'll probably price it you know $17.99 or more depending on what I see out there and then I have my magnet with me I might as well you know <laughs> I know everybody says oh they cherry pick everything out yeah it's magnetic but you know you never know things slip through the cracks right and then this one hang on was also $2.99 and it's this really cool sunflower or yeah it's like a sunflower brooch um, and it's DD and I've come across this before and I cannot remember Diane Dodds is that the name um, no that's not the name that's somebody that's in the group <laughs> that's why that names there but I have to go see because I, I recognize the mark I'm trying to get that back on there um, but I cannot remember what it stands for so there's that nice little brooch and again I'll have to check out you know what the maker goes for but it, you know it was three bucks but for sure you know I'll put you know in the 14 17 99 or more depending on what I find out about the maker I also bought some cufflinks uh, and these ones I spent 3 dollars which I paid up for them and they are not marked but it didn't matter oh wait yeah there's a mark it's Hickok Hickok brand and so they're the wrap kind you know but then take a look at the um, what's inlaid on there it's like this woman it's sort of like a cameo but in tiger's eye sort of but it's not tiger's eye or maybe it is I don't know or some kind of like brown and yellow resin so I'm gonna have to figure out what that's called this is what I'm talking about it's really cool I don't know exactly how to describe that because it's kind it's not tiger's eye but there's a word I'm sure for what that is called so these ones, my gut is telling me they're gonna be 25 plus dollars, depending on what I find out. So those, you know, 25 at least dollars or more. They're really nice. With the classical looking Greek goddess lady there, you know, whoever she is. So I'll look those up and find out more about those. And I got a jar, it's not an amazing jar, but I thought, you know what? I'm gonna take the chance because it was cheap <laughs> it was $12.99 and there were a couple things in there that I was like okay I, I think I can make I can squeeze $12.99 out of this jar um, where's something I found let's see I'm trying to see if you can see in there um what did I find oh I saw some cufflinks that was one thing I saw a tie tack I see is that a tie bar in there so normally like just plain cufflinks, like just kind of blah, whatever cufflinks. Um, I put not between $9.99 and $14.99. Um, so, you know, that that's one step in that direction. And then I saw a tight tack in there, which is also, depending on what it is, you know, I'll put for, you know, same thing, $9.99 to $14.99, depending. Um, so those two things were the main, the main, you know, let's get it. I, the main reason so I'm looking to see see there's another tie it's either a pin or a tie tack right there um, and this looks like a I don't know if you can see it it's kind of in there it's like green it's kind of wiggling around not this green chain but there's like a green pendant or something in there it looks like a turtle can you see maybe you can't see it's like right there so it looks like a little turtle pendant it looks like his arms are moving yeah his arms are moving so that might be kind of cool um, so yeah, I mean, I think I can squeeze $12.99 out of this jar. Um, and then just, you know, we'll see what else is in there. But yeah, this is one that's like, uh, I see a lapel pin. There's the end of it. I wonder what the other end looks like. So that might do okay. Uh, yeah. See you. We'll see. That's, you know, not, this is not one of those jars that I'm like, woohoo, amazing. Because I see a lot of broken bits and a lot of just like, what is that? there we'll see what is that that's kind of cool okay kind of like it's not amber but it's kind of amber in color I don't know if you can see it like there it looks like a ring you can see that and then the, it's really plastic but it, it's kind of cool looking it's promising you know it's promising okay so now to the gold man and 
mom called. There was a mix-up with her doctor's office. I don't know. So, But she wants to go. She said there's a Polish restaurant over somewhere in our in this area. So we're going to check out the Polish restaurant. I'm going to run over to St. Christopher's real quick before I go to the, the gold man. Because why not? Because I know once I get done with him, I'm not going to want to go over there. I'm going to want to go. That guy's still sitting in his car. He's been sitting there. Maybe his wife's shopping. Oh, and I looked for uh, rain boots. They had little girl ones. They didn't have any boy ones. And they didn't have any lady ones. So, oh well. Oh well, I tried. I didn't think the boys would want rainbow zebra print. But no, I don't think they would. Alright, I tried to get a bit of footage in there, but it was hard. There were a few more people in there that I'm comfortable with taking pictures and all um, but yeah some of their prices are great and some of the prices are out of control so I spent eleven eighty eight, and I got two Parker fountain pens and some Parker pens can go for really good money and some are not so good money they're you know 10 12 bucks so we'll see these these are the, the wild card these could be a bust or break even or a teensy profit or they could be really good so we'll see. I didn't check to see about ones with cases. So we'll see. There's that. And then I also picked up this, see a good price, $2 on this jewelry box. Um, it feels like plastic, it's not really old. The hinge is kind of cool. You know, lined in green. And then I got a necklace, which was half price. So I paid $4, which is a bit more than I would want to. But the chain and the necklace obviously don't go together. Here's why. This is silver, cheapy. And then this has got some sort of like um, horn. I won't be able to sell it on eBay, but you can see it's, a, it's like an animal horn, some kind of, or claw, you know, one or the other. Um, and then I have a feeling, I'm not sure about this part being gold, but I have a feeling this part is right here. So, I mean, just, I'll have to go clean it up, but, but just from the wear that I'm seeing on the back, I don't think this part is. Um, and then you can, if you see the hook on there, this part, you know, you can take it off and on using that little, you know, latch right there. But yeah, and I don't see any marks jumping out at me. So I'll have to look it over a little bit when I get home. Um, but I'm going to put that on Etsy. But like I say, I think this part here is gold. This part, maybe not. Just from the look of it. And the and the wear on it so I paid four dollars paid up for that um okay so that was good good little stop now to the gold man to take him the stuff to ask him his professional opinion hey guys I'm back so I had to stop I was watching a Jay was live in the thrifting board I was watching the it was recorded already it was done but I was leaving the gold guy and they were really nice they didn't charge me you know I asked how much it would cost to test everything they were like oh no we don't charge for that um, so the earrings he thinks are 12 karat gold because when they tested for 14 karat gold the gold uh, the streak didn't disappear but it went darker and he said that that means that it's not like straight 14 karat gold that it's down but not 10 karat because it was you know ugh. so so that means that they probably are vintage because they don't really make a whole lot of stuff anymore with 12 karat gold um so which really throws me because the hoops like the are not vintage looking um but he's like yeah they're they're 12 karat gold um unless the hoops were put on after the fact you know what i mean so that's a possibility but they really look like they're part of the piece so um, yeah so he says 12 karat gold and then the cross uh, 10 karat gold with the diamonds but he was like yeah the diamonds are they're like the low quality they're not really fancy ones look at me look at my ghost um, I feel weird talking to you like this when you can't really see my face but he you know so the, I ended up selling that and 10 karat gold doesn't go for that that much and then when they're like 
and they gave me a little bit for the diamonds um, and then for the gold. So seventy dollars is what I spent and what I sold the uh, cross for. Seventy bucks, which is fine, because because okay, if there had been the other stone at the base, I don't know if you remember on the cross, there was a spot where you could tell there had been another stone that would was broken off because it was I don't know how to describe it, but it all scratched up and. There was something else there, but it was gone. So if that had still been there, I would have probably just sold it online, you know, because it would have looked still wearable and nice. Um, but I didn't want to, <laughs> since it was like it was damaged and um, I spent $8 on it at the garage sale. And so that was pretty good, pretty good to find a, what is that? $62 profit. Not bad. So, now I have to go figure out, you know, what am I going to send my girl who sold me these earrings for $30, bucks? Because I think $12K, they're about $10, I don't know. Anyway, so it, I think they, they'd be worth $100. Fifty hundred and sixty dollars at the because I did a little calculator on my phone, but they didn't have 12k in that calculator, they only had 10k or 14k. So I did 10k and they showed up to be about if it was scrap just for scrap, about 150 bucks. I don't know, I'll ask her what she thinks. All right, so I'm almost at my mom's and gonna go have some Polish food for lunch. Yeah.